Hey guys, Gymshot athlete Jay Packer here at the Gymshot Lifting Club and today I'm going to take you through a barbell only lower body workout. Something that I was doing a lot during lockdown when there was no gyms, but obviously you can do this either at home or at the gym or just at the squat rack. So the workout is going to compromise of four exercises. So we're going to start on squats, then going to go on to static lunges. We're then going to do barbell hip thrusts and then do barbell RDL. So we're working all of the legs, we're working quads, hammies, glutes, just making sure we're getting an all round workout. So we're going to do three sets of 10 on each exercise and then do roughly 60 seconds rest between the exercises. Obviously you can shorten it depending on what weight you've got. If you've got lack of weight at home, you can shorten it to 30 seconds. If you've got more weight at home and you're going a bit heavier, then you can do 90. Um, but we're going to go for 60 just so we're in the middle here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So that's the first set of 10 done. Uh, my tips for squats would be definitely make sure you're always pushing through your heels and pushing your knees out when you drive up. So when you're squatting, you want to be thinking, pushing through the heels, knees out, and making sure you're not leaning forward, just keeping a nice upright position so that you have a nice strong core when you're squatting. Um, so we'll have the rest of our rest now. Make sure you use it. And then we're going to our second set. So final 10 seconds, let's get under the bar. So another little tip for you, if you're at home and you haven't got much weight, you can do a pause at the bottom of the squat, so you could hold it down the bottom for, let's say, two seconds, so it's challenging your legs a little bit more, and then drive up, and that is, an, is a way that you can make a lighter weight feel harder, and just maximise the equipment that you've got at home. So again, just resting, and then we'll go into our third and final set. Okay, so now we've done our compound exercise, we're going to go on to um, some static lunges. So these are basically just split leg lunge lunges, and you're just going to go up, down, and then we're going to switch legs. So we're going to do 10 per leg, um, and then do that three times, like we did with squats. Always kind of want to start on squats if you're trying to lift heavy, because you want to have enough energy to give it your most. Um, and then the next exercise, I would say, is more quad dominant. So. We do our compound and then we do our quad dominant exercise.
and again at home if you haven't got that much weight you can up the reps on lunges to say 15 per leg just so you're challenging yourself a little bit more um, again you could take it higher like 20 per leg but I usually find on lunges 15 if you've got a light weight is good and especially if you're controlling every single rep you won't need to do majorly high reps so make sure you're controlling every single one and obviously connecting your mind to your muscle and making sure you actually are using your legs to work and lift you up from the ground. Um, and similarly to squats, you always make sure you want to push through your heels and don't let your heel raise and that will give you stability through the leg and make sure you are targeting your muscles rather than, for example, putting the weight through your lower back. Um, so again, just going to use our rest time and then go back into our second set. So final 10 seconds, getting under the bar. our second set done um, just a little tip if you do feel like you need to pause between legs then you can do and take a little break and then go into the second leg because uh, the worst thing is when you go into the second leg and you're a little bit off balance then you might not have the most optimal set so you can pause between if you need to but obviously you can go straight into it um, and just make sure you're nice and stable Okay, so now we're going on to our third exercise, which is barbell kick for us. Obviously, we are still in our rest period from our static lunges, so feel free to pause the video and get yourself set up for this exercise. So I have a bench here. Uh, if you don't have a bench, obviously you can do this with your back flat on the floor. And then second piece of equipment I've got is a barbell um, pad. Uh, if you haven't got a barbell pad, then you can use a towel, for example, or a yoga mat just to protect yourself from the weight when you are doing this exercise. Uh, or if you can brave it, then you can do one without. So for this exercise, you're just going to have your back on the bench. You don't want to have too much on there, but you don't have too little either because you want to protect your lower back. Um, but you'll feel what's kind of comfortable when you do the exercise anyways. Um, and making sure your feet are always pushing through your heels, again, to target the glutes and making sure that you're even between having your feet too far out and too close because you want to, again, target the glutes rather than targeting the quads or the hamstrings, for example. Thank you. 
So on each rep, you want to make sure that you're holding the squeeze at the top to make sure you're getting a contraction in your glutes. I usually do one to two seconds and then release the weight down slowly. So you want to make sure you're not kind of swinging down really quickly. You're making sure you're controlling the weight at all points of the exercise. So holding at the top, one to two seconds, slowly down and then thrust back up. Um, and what some people make the mistake of is they start thrusting with their lower back, whereas you kind of want to move your whole body with the exercise and bring everything down in a nice straight line and then come back up again rather than just moving from the hips. So keep your body in line and then thrust back up. So if you are finding this one easy at all, then you can up the reps and do 20 reps, for example. You could also um, hold the squeeze at the top for a little longer, maybe even do five second hold. And then equally, you could just decrease your rest time. So even do like shorter rest time, like 30 seconds, maybe even 15, and just do shorter sets, um, shorter rest, and get the intensity up a little bit more. last set of barbell hip thrusts. I always like doing barbell hip thrusts before um, going on to RDLs, which is going to be our final exercise. So we're like it fires up the glutes nicely for the next exercise that we're going to do. And you've got that good mind to muscle connection. So you're going to need to get your squat rack back for the next exercise. And I'll see you there. So onto our fourth and final exercise, which is the barbell Romanian deadlift. I have actually decided to go without a squat rack for this one, um, purely because I like doing it from the floor, but obviously you can do it from your squat rack. Just make sure it's at a lower, low enough starting point so that you can pick it up safely and not have to like shoulder shrug it up. Um, so we're just going to get underneath our bar. We're going to keep our shins nice and close to the bar when we go down. Um, hands either side. We're going to roll our shoulders back, pull the bar up and then lower it back down. Okay, so obviously this exercise is working our glutes and our hamstrings. Um, everyone's going to have a different depth that they can get down to on this exercise. So don't go right down to the floor just because you think you have to. If, for example, if your hamstrings only allow you to go down so far, then stop there and then come back up. Don't overexert yourself and bend your back to get down low. That's not what you have to do on this exercise. Just go as far as your hamstrings take you and then come straight back up. Um, and you always want to make sure throughout the exercise that you're keeping the bar nice and close to your legs. So I always think of it as if you're like shaving your legs, you keep the bar nice and close and roll down and then come back up.
So another thing to consider when you are doing these is a lot of people like to look at themselves in the mirror when you're doing this exercise. Obviously, this shouldn't be a problem because you might be doing it at home uh, without a mirror. Uh, but what I mean by that is making sure your head's not lifting up. For example, when you're doing the exercise and you're going down into the deadlift and you're looking up, this then causes your back to arch, which you don't want. So if you just keep your head in line with your spine, then you'll be in a nice deadlift position and making sure everything's in a good position to obviously lift safely. Um, as soon as you start lifting your head up, that changes your whole posture and doesn't put you in the best position to lift safely. So that is our final exercise complete. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Shouldn't really take you too long. I always aim to spend around 10 minutes on each exercise. So let's say 40 minutes in total and you've got yourself a good effective workout in, working all areas of your legs and comment down below and let me know how you found it. Thank you.